Hey guys, it's Ben now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we headed along Route 9. We got like a bunch of other Pokemon. We headed along Route 9, I think. And we got over here to Route 10, right in front of the Rock Tunnel. Also, Ivysaur evolved into Venusaur, and that is one of the final members I will use on a <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's a nice little hint, but... Ghost Haunt Lavender Town, ooh. Uh, but yeah, so we got Venusaur, which is one of the people I want on the end of my team, which is very nice, indeed. Uh, I gotta, I gotta clear out my inventory. I, I actually healed off screen, and then I realized that I should probably clear my inventory of, like, HMs. So what am I not gonna need? I'm not gonna need TM30. Trust me, I'm going to store everything. Uh, oh. Okay, well, I guess I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, we're gonna head off into the unknown, particularly into uh, the rock tunnel. There is one more trainer just before we get there, though. <laughs> Been to a gym? Jeez, do you even lift, bro? Sis? <laughs> so yeah, um, junior trainer, female, sent out a Pikachu. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, about that. Also, 108 HP. We, we are pushing that HP limit so much. And I, I absolutely love Venusaur. He's really good. And the problem is, I'm still recording. I'm recording this on the 30th of September. It's a little bit after previous parts, but still not, still not X and Y time. So I can't talk about X and Y, really. But I'm going to assume that everyone's talking about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, how powerful is Bubba or what? I don't want to make Bubba too strong, because the problem is... <laughs> uh, the trainers in the Rock Tunnel will be like level 23-ish. So I'm going to switch out to uh, Shruder. I'm going to put Shruder out front. It's going to be a little bit odd, but it's actually... No, I'm not going to put Shrewder out front, because he's not going to be fast enough. I'll put Birdo out front, because Birdo will be fast enough to escape wild battles. By the way, this is why you need Flash. If you enter a cave and it's dark, you need Flash, otherwise you can't see a thing. You can't see enemies, you can't see anything. However, if I get... No. If I get a bikini... And I use Flash. Also, a bikini's got teleport. Teleport acts just like an escape rope. So that's why I kept bringing my escape ropes, I guess. Pokemon fight. Ready, go. What? <laughs> okay. Um, now, I'm a little bit worried about the rock tunnel. So I brought myself a little map, just so I know. And by myself, I mean... I'm basically using a map. Okay, so anyway, this is Cubone. Uh, we haven't seen Cubone before. Uh... Cubone's kind of generic, to be honest. He does have some good defense, uh, but his, um... I guess Fury Attack. Is he Rock-type? I don't know. Uh, his speed is a little bit low. Oh, I guess he's just Ground-type. Ah, Fury Attack. Oh, come on, what? Stop using Growl! Actually, actually, if I'm using Fury Attack, why am I still using Growl? I should use Peck. Oh, he is ground. Okay. I've never used Cubone that much, so I unfortunately do not know how to use him. But I'm assuming he's ground type if he keeps missing. That was very successful for him. Anyway, Slowpoke. We've seen Slowpoke before, but basically he's slow and he's a pokey. Mon. I use Fury Attack, I'm an idiot. I really should have switched out, because now this is going to take forever. Ah, he's butting my head! Actually. Yeah! What now? <laughs> Mirror move. You gotta love it. Okay, so unfortunately there will be quite a few trainers in this, ra in this route. O oddly, there are no items. So, I, I just want to... <sighs> I, I should really... Can I even get repels? I, th I think I can get repels now. Um, point is that... Uh, two steps. Two steps. Two steps. And there's a freaking Zubat 
standing in the way, like always. Okay. Uh, that is a de- OH MY GODNESS! ANOTHER TWO STEPS! What is this? Uh, I may as well talk about the Pokemon you can find. You can get Zubats, Geodudes, Machops, and Onyx. Um, like, they will be higher levels than they would have been in Mount Moon. Uh, but it's a good play. If you want to get an Onyx, feel free. Onyx is great. Uh, and I would recommend getting an Onyx pretty much any time. Now, we got to figure out where the heck we're going. I think we're going down here. But there's so many trainers, it's ridiculous. Now, if this... Oh, my goodness. I think we're all good. Uh, so, yeah, that, that little room on the top floor, that... Sorry, that little sideway on the top floor, that is a dead end. Uh, by the way, you don't need Flash in order to actually do anything here. You can still proceed through any... In fact, any Pokemon game, you don't need Flash in order to actually proceed through the area. In this game, it's actually very easy, because you can still... It's actually kind of nice, because you can see all the surrounding area. Um, whereas, in later games, it gets a little bit more hazardous trying to use Flash all the time. Oh, trying to not use Flash. Um, and also, you have to fight Brock anyway, so... I, I was just going to use Mirror... Wow. One turn disable. Another disable. <laughs> okay. What? Ah. Birdo, you got really low attack for some reason. Oh, gosh, confusion. There goes my special stat. Yep. Um, by the way, this while this guy is level has a level 25 Pokemon, it's actually, like, one of the strongest Pokemon you will find for a long time. He is exhausted, isn't he? So, yeah. Yeah, oddly, there are no wild po- uh, there's no random items. This is a dead end. I don't think that there really are any trainers in the dead ends. Um, by the way, you may be wondering how large is this place? It's not really that large. The problem is, especially if you go for a speed run, uh, you'll need to memorize the layout of the place. But when you really get to- get to know the place, it's not that large. Oh, and also, pretty much all the trainers are required, which is a bit of a pain. Thankfully, this is a Junior Trainer F, with an Oddish. Uh, by the way, in terms of starter Pokemon, we have seen a Squirtle and a Charmander out of battle. Oh, so not out of battle. If we saw it out of battle, that would have been great. Um, but we saw them, like, not with Blue. And here, here's a Bobble Sword. That's one thing I do like, is that you will see most of the Pokemon in the Pokédex. I think you won't see Legendaries. But you will see every single other Pokemon in the game, which is very nice. In later games, you will see every single Pokemon in the in the regional Pokédex. Because um, from the next generation on, they can't really show like 250 Pokemon throughout the game. So, so what they do is that they uh, they decide like uh, a national dex. And th that's just a standard Pokédex until you beat the game, and then, in which case it's like, oh, now here's all the rest of the Pokémon. Uh, black and white, actually. I do, I do appreciate their national deck, national decks. Uh, this guy is a Charmander, so I guess <laughs> if you didn't see the Charmander, sure. Rage. Fun fact: I was going to let's play Rage, and then I kind of got bored with my commentary. That's, what, that's one thing I'm having trouble with doing. I'm trying to find a good game that I can use commentary with. Ah, oh, no, it's the Q bomb 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 So yeah, if a Pokemon also has very high defense, Fury Attack is not the best choice. Fury Attack's better if you can uh, attack a Pokemon that's got low defense, or if you have very high attack. And I do appreciate that that that. Fury Attack even exists. I mean, it's... It's actually kind of neato. Um... Now I'm gonna... Oh, I'm, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm gonna switch out to, uh, Bugaboom. You may be wondering, but you're not using Bugaboom. This guy right here. His techniques will leave me crying. <laughs> 
Okay. By the way, uh, this, this, like, area we're going through is pretty much half of the bottom floor. Um, you don't, you only go up and down twice. That's, that's why I switched the bugger boom. I know he's level 25. Oh, come on! <laughs> I, I, I know I, oh, actually, I don't, I don't think I will survive this. I will not survive it. Nope. Nobody wins! <laughs> Nobody wins! Alright. Uh, who's after... Oh, Shrooters. Oh. Stuff it, we're using Baba. <laughs> uh, there's also another guy here. Thankfully, you can skip this guy. I prefer fighting the other guy, though. Actually, this, this guy won't be that bad. He's only got two Pokemon, and they're both actually level 20, considering... Every other person in this place had like level 25 Pokemon. And then this guy just comes in and he's just got like a level 20 Machop and a level 20 Onyx. Whoa! Attack with my leaves! <laughs> so yeah. You know, this would look very bad <laughs> if someone just comes in and it's just like, oh, can't, oh you're one of those people who just uses like uh, Venusaur. The thing is, though, that a lot of Let's Players will skip. They will avoid random encounters, and they will try and skip trainers. And I'm a little bit like, oh, I didn't fight this trainer, I'm going to be missing out on experience, even though I can just get experience normally. I'm, I'll be missing out on money. Definitely. You will be short of money if you are skipping trainers. And it's a very easy way to train up anyway. Uh, so now we're back on the upper floor. There's only two floors. It is a little bit of a confusing place, uh, especially because the camera doesn't really zoom back. It's a 2D game and I'm talking about the camera. What am I? <laughs> no, um... But, like, yeah, you can't really zoom out of the area and see where all the trainers are, and unfortunately I haven't noted where the trainers are. I've noted who the trainers are. For example, this, this guy... This guy has a lot of Pokemon. Also, I think it's a little bit odd that they're sending level 19 Pokemon at us. I mean, maybe it's because they... They are... Trying to... Trying to um, accommodate for the fact that you can go here before you fight Lieutenant Surge. But you gotta go through... You gotta go through um, the SSN. The SSN is gonna kick your butt if you're not... If, like, these guys are really weak. And by this point, you will have a grass type, because why wouldn't you? Either that, or you'd have Gyarados. We'll check on Gyarados, like... I wouldn't say near the end of the game, but definitely not soon. Also, like, I'm, I'm using Vine Whip of all things, and it is killing him. Oh, gosh. There are quite a few trainers, though, in this place, I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna get worn out. Dole, you win. Dole, I missed. Uh, so this is... Where did I go? Oh, no, 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 I, I remember. So, yeah. Um... I do... want to do something. He, he is lost, yes. I do wanna, um... I'm not, I'm not gonna get out of here until the next part, but... Gr granted, it is a cave, and yeah. It's not gonna be as long as the Mount Moon part. Jeez, that, that went for 40 minutes. That was ridiculously long, sorry. Sorry, guys, for the Mount Moon part. <laughs> um... I, I'm do Actually, this is a special attack. It's gonna get past Onyx's defense anyway. That's the thing, that's the thing with special with the special stat, is that if you have a high special stat, generally the rest of your stats will be fine as well. But if you have a high defense, your other stats may not be as good, because a special stat ac accommodates for both the special attack and the special defense. But when you're calculating the totals, it ends up being a lot lower ranked if it's got a higher special. And I think more than half of the types are special anyway, so like, what's the I don't know. Ba -ba. He's up, what am I doing? Which way is that? What? <laughs> okay, now I know where I'm going. 
I just wish all the... You know, I really should have bought a repel because I would not have spent this long in this area. Baba! I think there's another trainer over... That's a dead end, yep. So yeah, so you can still do this even in the dark. And you know what's really odd? All these trainers can see you. And even in the dark. I mean, come on, I'm pretty sure Geodude can't learn Flash. If your only Pokemon is a Geodude, how are you able to see me? That's, like, not even the fact that trainers have to fight you if they see you. It's like, how can they see you? You can't see other trainers, by the way. The only- oh, Graveler! Sweet, it's a Graveler. Um, I don't think I wrote about Graveler. Uh, Graveler is basically the evolution of Geodude. As I said, he's very, he's very good, but his next evolution is a trade, and that's why I'm not using him. However, if you can trade, go right ahead with Geodude. He's he's a very good ground rock type. Um, Golem is better than Onix in my opinion, but Onix would be better than Graveler. Ultimately, Onyx is really good. I don't like. I, I I guess I guess you could have gotten a Geodude earlier, but you could have gotten a Geodude earlier. But like, this is your first chance of getting an Onyx. By the way, one awkward thing is that because I'm doing the the Pokemon bios before you can catch them. Uh, so now we're on the bottom floor again. Now I gotta figure out where I'm at, where I'm at again. I believe this is a dead end. Yes. Going very down is a dead end. Yup. And this is the correct way to go. And this person... Oh, you can't... You can't skip that person. Okay. Now, I don't think we're gonna be that much longer. I believe after this person... This is the sixth last trainer in here. Which sounds like a lot, but when you think about it, most of the trainers are just at the very end. Aha, Jigglypuff, you did not expect my razor leaf to leave your razor. Speaking of razor, I shaved for once. I was growing out of, and by I shaved, I mean I shaved on the 30th of September, not, not really before. Pidgey. Does, will this Pidgey know any flying type attacks? Whirlwind does not count. Quick attack isn't flying. Gust isn't flying. Oddly, Gust is not flying, even though only flying types are able to learn it in this game. It becomes a flying type attack later in the later games, by the way. Have we seen a Meowth before? I think we have. I, I said Meowth was kind of generic. And truth be told, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like Meowth that much. Yeah, so anyway, I believe down is a dead end. Yup. And up is a dead end. Yup. I'm just making sure because I don't want to skip trainers. I'm a little. I'm. I. Yeah. I don't want to skip trainers. By the way, yeah, I, I always I always wonder this, but all the wild Pokemon in this game are very weak, and then all the trainer Pokemon, or at least at the very beginning of the game, are actually extremely strong for some reason. And I'm not too sure why they do that. Uh, in Pokemon Yellow, they do even it out a lot. A lot of the trainer Pokemon are a little bit weaker, and a lot of the, uh, of the um, wild Pokemon are actually like two or three levels higher. Um, I, I think it more or so counts, the trainers were weakened a bit, like, Cerulean on, uh, and before. Because I think by now it's, <laughs> I think by now you would may have noticed that it's a little bit off balance now, because they gave way so many trainers. Seriously, there's is that you can fight, just on the side. Ex except, everyone on, uh, everyone in, uh, on the SSN is optional, and you can miss those encounters, and that's why I'm a little bit like, oh, maybe, maybe uh, fight them first. So they have to accommodate the game for the in in the case that you never fought anyone on the SSN, which is actually very easy to skip everyone on the SSN. Okay, and I believe down is a dead end. 
So there you go. And now we're just on the last... Dang it. The exit is... in the next room. It's... Like, it's a, it's a little bit of, of a confusing place, and I especially don't like the fact that the ladders don't link up. <laughs> don't you guys hate it when a uh, game has ladders and they don't link up with the exit, uh, with the other ends? Then again, don't you hate it when the buildings are the wrong size on the in, uh, are uh, much larger on the inside? Points for Paper Mario. I actually really love how Paper Mario's buildings are the proper size of the building. Slowpoke is psychic type. Oh, wait, I just realized. Well, my special stat's good, but. It's a little bit like. Well, thankfully, he doesn't have another slow. Oh, wait, he does. He's got two more. You know, it's weird. A lot of people never really. Like, yeah, I, I, I noted this a little bit earlier. A lot of people don't really play with the same kinds of Pokemon, like the same species of Pokemon on that team. Like, I wouldn't really train two Gyaradoses. And it's always good to have a variety, because then you can deal with any situation, really. It also kind of specializes your, um, I was about to say units, it specializes your, uh, your, uh, team. You can s sort out any situation, like, for example, Slowpokes. Like, it's a bit of an odd choice. Like, if you've got a, um, a, uh, flying type, suddenly Slowpoke's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll fight ya. Don't try anything funny in the dark, oh, no, ma'am, ma'am. You know what's the worst part? They're junior trainers, it's just like, ah, oh, they're like our age, really, and by our, I mean Ashes and Reds and everyone else's. Uh, oh, this is gonna. <laughs> this is actually gonna be pretty dog. Uh, pretty dog, because now I'm grass type, and. Yeah. I should really switch away from Bubba. He is level 34, he is about to be level 35. And I have a level 27 Firo, just sitting here. I mean, granted, the, the Firo is still pretty strong right now. Uh, Fury Attack, do your magic. Clefairy's got high HP though, so I can't really do anything about it. Oh, pound. Dang it. Dang it. There you go. There you go. Hooray! We defeated us. <laughs> sure. That's what they all say. Uh, I will switch out to... But, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a risky option, but, hey. We have, I have Pokemon? Oh my goodness. Do I? No, no, I don't have Pokemon. No, I'm just walking through a dark cave, and I'm lighting it up using a lantern, because I'm actually, I'm actually using my brain for once. Wow, really? Really? That, that Pidgey just didn't even try. Uh, Rattata. Yeah, okay. We got this. I think it's kind of interesting how you can't get revives by this point in the game. Uh, revives basically, if a Pokemon has fainted, you use it on that Pokemon and it will restore half of its HP and it will come back to life. Uh, and it, they're very useful. There's also max revives which heal all the HP, but... I think it's kind of interesting how come you can't even get those items until quite a fair bit later in the game. That's one thing about Pokemon no one ever notes about, the items they give you in the shops. A lot of people talk about the Pokemon that they give you in each route, but no one talks about the items. And I think that's just because you can... The, the items are very minor in Pokemon. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Birdo! You play hard? Oh. I play hard to get. Uh, nah. I'm actually going to use my Super Potion on Birdo. You may be wondering why aren't you using your regular potions. That that was actually a good choice. I, don't, I 
that, sorry, that was a good question. I really should have used the regular potions. I saved the super potion for when I needed it more, but okay. Save the super potion for when I need to use only one turn. Instead of three. Okay, now there is one more trainer in here, and unfortunately there are actually quite, kind of a few trainers just like sitting outside. I am looking around for the last trainer, which I... I'm a bit of an idiot, I... I really should have looked up the positions of these trainers, because then I could have, you know... He's right there as well. Came this far for Pokemon! Which is weird, because there's no Pokemon on the next route. There's no grass on the next route. So thankfully, now I don't have to do a sidebar for the next route. Meow, that is correct. <laughs> Why do these people have so many... Well, I guess they don't really have so many. A lot of them were using either, like, two or three. And granted, I was using two or three for a lot of the game. Okay, come on, Oddish. Oddish. I like the name Oddish, by the way, it's actually... He's, he's kind of Oddish. I remember when people said that, and I was just like, It feels a bit... gloomy. And they were just like, what? Years ago, by the way, that's... You know... I, f I feel old. I feel old, oh my goodness. You're out of po- well, of course. I won already. So yeah. I think it's very interesting how come there's no... Hey... I'm feeling a bit faint, so I'm gonna use my Pokemon to attack you. <laughs> so yeah, so that was the Rock Tunnel, and now we're in Route 10, however there's still trainers. It gets a bit annoying, yep. When is Firo getting a new attack? I would like to know when that happens. Oh my goodness, you are the bestest. Pidgeotto! We have seen a Pidgeotto before, haven't we? Yeah. Well, Fury Attack. It worked so well the first time. Oh, dude, get four, get another one. Aw, oh, come on. Ah, my eyesight. Peck him. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, yeah. There are four trainers outside here on Route 10. Route 10 is kind of counts the out, uh, the up bit. By the way, here's a tree. Press it. It's a max ether. It recovers all of your PP, which is actually very nice to have. Uh, by the way, you're not trapped in here. You can just head back up easily. Uh, sure. What? <laughs> so yeah. Um. So is this, oh, this is the Puggy Maniac. The Puggy Maniacs, by the way, I prefer their sprites in later games, because right now they just kind of look like a... Uh, so yeah. Oh, apparently, Firo does get a new attack. He gets one at level 34, apparently. I won't spoil what it is, but it's pretty good. Come on, one more. Yeah! Oh, come on! Stuff you! <laughs> Oh gosh, I am absolutely loving Mirror Move. It's great. Slow poke. No, do, 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 do. <laughs> let, let us not hum the Pokemon Channel music. No, not growl, it's my favorite move. Ah. Stuff you! Yeah, my special set is so low that that did nothing, basically. Attack it with my furies! Really? Really? That... I, I don't even... Uh, yeah, of course you put the critical hit in there. Granted, you get so many critical hits in this game, it actually gets pretty overwhelming. <laughs> um... So yeah. Oh, there's another trainer on the side there, isn't there? Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, it's a hiker man, and I still have my Birdo out. That's good. Rock is super effective against flying, even though 
even though ground doesn't hit her at all. It's, it's a bit of an odd combination, wouldn't you think? Baba! Ah, my ears. Defense greatly fell. Raise or leaf. Okay, so we're almost at Lavender Town. Lavender Town is a bit of an interesting place, I'll tell you that. Um, there there were rumors. I, of of course, they're not true, but there used to be rumors about um how the music for Lavender Town made Japanese children want to commit suicide. It's a bit of an interesting statement, isn't it? Um. And they apparently said it's because it uses such high-pitched noises that adults can't hear it, but the children can, and they want to kill themselves. It was, it was just like, it, it's a hoax, of course, but, um, it's, it's a hoax, of course, but, uh, hey, it's, it's, it's something kind of interesting to know, how, there you go, I thought that was another person. I still have fear out front. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. So, yeah, um, that's actually, you know, you know, it's probably one of the first creepy pastas. I don't like creepy pasta mainly because no one can write creepy pasta. Seriously, seriously. As much as people, as much as people like, well, I took it like a champ. That did 25 damage. It killed Butterfree, but it only did 25 to me. By the way, I love how if a Pokemon uses self-destruct, it counts as a as a kill for you. Well, not kill, but you, you still get your experience. Like it's 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 lovely. Like even if you don't even do anything. No, not bind. I need my HP. Ah, there you go. So yeah, I actually do find creepy pasta is a bit of an odd thing. But yeah, like I don't really think there's really that many good. Creepypastas. The problem is, creepypastas are really good if they have underlying themes. No one has underlying themes. Everyone's just like, oh, it's scary, oh. But they don't really have anything that's truly chilling. Whoa, that music, man. <laughs> anyway. Oh, come on, turn. Don't, there you go. Anyway, with that, we're in Lavender Town, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then.